Coffee and beer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Two things people love to brew. It's also the concept behind a new place called Magnanimous. Fox 13 photojournalist Travis Anthony takes us there, but first he explains what that name means. We're at Magnanimous Brewing. We've been open since October 2nd of 2020. We opened like 10 days after the entire state was opened up. It's been interesting. It's been better than we thought it was going to be. Magnanimous is just a word that I've loved since I was, uh, first time I heard it, I think I was 13, and looked it up then, uh, just means to be kind and forgiving to pretty much anyone, even those who are less than you or have done something wrong to you, and just something I've always kind of tried to do anyway. By far and away, our most popular beers are IPAs, and we make some of the best ones in the state, I think. Uh, Juice Lord has become kind of our big one um, that we we brew every couple of months, and there's usually, it's gone within a week. We partnered up with our friends from Ginger Beard. We do Magnanimous Coffee, a sort of a collaboration between us, and they open at 7 a.m. in the morning till 2 uh, p.m., Monday through Thursday until noon, Friday through Sunday. Uh, during that time, you can also buy beer uh, seven days a week, so we're open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. Their cold brew is outstanding. Uh, they have this peanut butter latte that everybody freaks out about that we do on, on uh, drafts. If you were to take coffee people and beer people, that Venn diagram almost just makes a perfect circle. So it's it's a natural thing because we we use a coffee we use coffee in a lot of our beers. Uh, beer guys like we tend to go seek out awesome coffee spots around the country when we're traveling. It's just it's just a perfect. It makes more sense, like almost too much sense sometimes. And but the hard part is finding people that work with you and. Uh, Derek and Josh, awesome guys, uh, known them for years, and it's just, they've worked with us. They're also pretty magnanimous in, in the grand scheme of things, so it's just been a perfect pairing. We kind of designed our tasting room as a place to come hang out, as a gathering spot for the community. From the get-go, we wanted our tasting room to be a gathering spot, you know, just to be able to sit around, and have, have pints with your friends, celebrate beer, celebrate each other, celebrate the community. You know. Mears hopes to expand the community brewery mentality by working with local nonprofits and charity groups throughout the Bay Area.